Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another session of Tomb Raider 3. We're going to be starting on the Oryx Tech Mines today, which is of course the next level following Antarctica. Let's go shall we? And I've got to say a huge thank you to you guys, I'm feeling quite a fair bit better than I was in the previous part. Um, still a bit iffy, but getting there, you know. A few of you guys have been talking to me, you've even been sharing your own problems and experiences and stuff, and... You know, it's made me feel a whole lot more comfortable about the way I am at the moment and stuff, but, um... Right, so we went down the shaft on the elevator, didn't we? So, there's only one way out of here, and that's up here. It looks like we're crawling through. But yeah... I'm getting there, slowly. Just trying to help myself out a bit at the moment, because that's all I can do, I guess. Since, uh... Still not getting any professional help just yet. Right, something just opened. It's not this way. It's around here, isn't it? Somewhere. Hmm. Okay. It's welcoming me in. I'd hear here. I'm a bit confused by that, I've got to admit. Right, the doors are actually opening as I'm going through. Why are they welcoming me in? That's really weird. Is something going on here, like some kind of maze or something, you reckon? No, the the corners seem to be getting tighter, don't they? So, I think we're just going round and... Oh my god, what's going on? No, 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 they're not getting tighter at all. I'm running round in a circle, aren't I? Aren't I? Maybe I'm not, actually. Oh my god. What am I doing wrong here? What am I doing right here? Am I doing anything at all? This is really confusing. I've got to say, like, the doors, they just keep on... Right, so one there. There should be one round the corner at the end, yeah. And then, after that, there's one directly in front. Yeah, okay, so let's go backwards instead. Am I just stuck here now? Ah. Ah, right, okay. Wait, isn't this just back to the beginning again? I don't know. No, it isn't. There's a ladder. That was a bit confusing. Oh, shit, it is as well. <laughs> oh, wow. Talk about confusing. So... How many circles did I run in, then? That's pretty typical of me not to notice things that for that long, you know. Right. So, I can't go that way. Got no choice but to go this way. But... At what point do I run in a different direction, do you reckon? Right, doors... Which, which door just shut? So that's back to the beginning again. If I get this one to open, does it force another one to shut that was back this way, you reckon? Ah, oh, confusing. Does it force this one to shut? Yes, it has. Right. We need, I think, to make this one open that we just ran past. So, basically what we need to do is keep on running around here till the... Right. What? That one's opened. Okay. So now we need to go back. Because this one here is now shut, isn't it? So that means that we can get behind it. And is there a route behind There is a route behind it. There we go. Thought there was. Now that kind of makes me wonder if there is a route behind the other one as well. So I want to actually check that out. To see if that is the case. I don't think it is, but uh, it won't take a moment to check, will it? So, so we need a... Uh... No, there isn't. What am I on? Yeah, there definitely isn't. Forget it. We go back. I'm hoping we still can. I think we still can. Yeah, fantastic. Right, okay. So, let's go this way now. Now, for this level, I'm not going to hesitate to use my uh, other weapons. Because we're getting, in, we're getting deep into Tomb Raider now. Tomb Raider 3, should I say. Um, so, once I've discovered how the enemies are, I will start to use the other weapons. 
see if they're weak or not, because in the previous level, didn't really have any trouble taking them out at all. What's going on here? Can we... Yeah, we can climb down there, okay. Just wondering if there's anything behind us, though. I don't think there is. Oh, shit. I'm not using the faulty pad again, am I? I think that was just me, actually. Yeah, there was a, there was a pad I was using not too long ago that had a broken X button. No, I think we're alright, actually. Um, what's this all about? <gasps> Wait, no, they're not seals. What the fuck are they? Ugh. Oh, they're the mutated humans, aren't they? I thought they were seals. I was going to say they're cute, but... Uh, uh, yeah. Right. I, I'm kind of wondering if I missed something up. Oh, very nice. Uh, well, at least he can't get us here, by the looks of it, but... Is he an enemy? I reckon he probably is. I don't know. We're going to have to get out there and find out, aren't we? He seems to be taking them down with fire. Does that imply that we have to? Huh. Well, it hasn't opened that, has it? So we're going. We're going here. I'm not sure if he's going to try and kill us, though. No, he isn't. Right, he's an ally. What's he wearing? Oh, he's got balaclava on. Right, I thought his face was just weird. Okay, so we have allies in this level. Guys with flamethrowers. Again, why have we gone from killing them to... Well, we weren't killing these guys specifically, but they obviously are similar to the guys in the previous level. We've gone from killing them to be friend being friendly with them again. That's happened in practically every single place so far. I mean, there was the faceless people. Um, What else was there? Maybe it was just them, actually. I think there was something else, though. I'm not sure. So, we could make use of these guys, at least, in preserving ammo and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Oh, this looks a bit complex, doesn't it? Hmm. Let's go to the bottom first. Oh. Yeah, I thought so. Oh shit. Oh. Um, yeah, I kind of forgot to check the controls for this. I was hinted by a few people that I should. And I haven't. Oh shit. She actually needs to sit down for that, does she? Oh, quick. Let's go this way. Oh, we can't. Oh crap. Okay. Yeah, I, um, need to look at my Tomb Raider 3 manual, I guess. <laughs> Problem is, I don't know where I've put it. This could be very trial and error. Oh, great, I've got the Lauren merchandise boot. That's no use, is it? Oh, shit, didn't mean to do that. Right, so I'm back here. Got the controls nailed down now, but I'm really kind of confused about... Can you actually... Uh, I didn't even notice you the first time. Where are you? Wait there. Ooh. What was that? Let's just kill it. Don't think it'll really do much damage to us anyway. It's kind of stuck here, so... If it does decide to do anything, I don't think it's really going to get us that easily, so... It's alright. Yeah, they're, they're kind of easy to avoid. Right, so... I've got the minecart controls here. It's kind of a bit weird, really. Apparently you can throw wrenches and, uh... I don't know, other weird things. But you need to do it in order to actually, um... Get past places. Seems a bit weird. 
But yeah, um, I think before we do any of that, we may as well explore on foot. And where's the harm in that? Uh, so, I don't know, should we go, should we go beyond here? Oh, we can't go beyond here, that's why you need the minecart, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, never mind then. Where else can we go? Could have jumped in that then, I guess. That wouldn't have been too good. That's everything I don't want to do at the moment. Uh, no point in going up there. Right, let, let's try going up then. Because the only way is up. <sighs> okay, um... No, there's nothing here. I thought there might be, but never mind. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, head back up here then. And we'll see what's above us. Uh, around this way. Right. Uh, I've got someone to shout out here, and that is Daryl Baxter. Now, Mr. Daryl Baxter is a very clever man. He, uh, does interviews and various other things, writes, uh, interesting art. Is she saying no? She is, yeah, sorry. <laughs> writes interesting articles about, uh, Tomb Raider related stuff amidst other things. And, um, not another bloody minecart, huh? Yeah, he has actually had an interview. Well, he's, he's done an interview with the composer of the soundtracks. Uh, is it Nathan McCree? I believe it is, yes. And uh, he even mentioned myself during the interview, you know, uh, and asked me if I had any questions to ask him. I can't really remember what I said in regards to that, but yeah. You should definitely check out his site, because uh, it has a lot of interesting stuff. I still need to read a lot of it myself. Sounds bloody ridiculous since I'm shouting him out, but I've been on a bit of a go slow at the moment. Uh, well, recently, more like, since uh, things have been going wrong, so I've been meaning to do so for quite some time now. Right, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like we can get anywhere. Yeah, uh, of course he's a he's a fan of myself as well. So, oh yeah, we can go up another level while it looks good. I thought that was it. So let's do that. And I imagine he'll be watching now. Up we go. I suppose uh, when this is uploaded, I should have 2,000 subscribers as well. Hmm. So yeah, big thank you guys. It's quite a huge number, really. Remember when I was horrified about having a hundred subscribers, but this is just ridiculous by comparison. Okay, so we've got a little house here. Oh, wow, we have a lot of these minecarts, don't we? I think I need to turn the volume up a bit, because I think things are happening and I can't hear what's going on. There we go. Flickery light in here. What's going on? Watch this be too loud now. I can't get around here. There we go. Right, this is the only way we can go. Apart from on top of it, I think. Yeah, it's a bit dark near, isn't it? Oh shit, that's why. We need to be careful with these things. That's for damn certain. Can't really see where the hell they are as well, so. It's another problem. <laughs> we're okay. Yep, we're fine. Okay, let's have a look in this area then. I kind of had a feeling that would happen. This game's getting very creepy all of a sudden. Uh, the first one definitely made me jump more than anything else though. Right, let's... Uh, no, that's not useful in the slightest. I don't think anything here really is, is it? Oh, dear me. Yeah, well, I think we've just got to use the bloody minecarts. There's got to be a lot of minecarting in this game. Oh, here we go. That's what I've been looking for, I guess. What's that do? Oh. <laughs> what bloody use is that now? Never mind. So we can see in this area, but there's nothing here really, is there? There might have been another button on the walls actually, let's uh, just make sure that's not the case. No. Never mind then. Right, we're getting in the minecarts, that's for certain. So the buttons... Apparently, um, crouch, action, and jump. 
jump slows it down, crouch makes Laura dark naturally, and then the action button, apparently she throws a wrench and it allows the minecart to change direction, so I'm guessing I want to go as slow as possible in this, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll nail the um, throwing the wrench thing pretty quickly because we need to. Well, let's give it a go. Right, so it's like that. This kind of reminds me of Crash Bandicoot here. I can't see in front of myself. Right, slow down, slow down. I don't want to go too fast. Yeah. I'm loving these camera angles game, but they kind of make me a bit nervous. Wait, what? No, 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 no. That's a huge gap. Oh, for fuck's sake, she can't just die like that. I suppose I was supposed to have been going at full speed, wasn't I? I'll try getting on the first one again. Now that I know that room's going to change. Alright, so that's that enemy dealt with. Let's just get straight in this thing. Because there's no point in, like, hindering the progress of this anymore. There's not really much else we can do. I don't really know about this whole slowing down business. Should I be slowing it down? Oh, shit! I forgot to do the bloody ducking thing. Right, here it is. Ah, fantastic, right. Where does Laura get this wrench from? Right, here's an area that we clearly got a duck under. Ah, yeah, it does jump. Gotta be really careful then. Uh, that's not a... Okay, never mind. I thought that might have been another thing we had to hit. Okay, right, we've reached our destination. How do I get out? How do I get out? Oh, right, okay. Thank you, Laura. Okay, um... Oh, well, this is good. New area. Um, not sure it's a good idea to fall down into that water there. So... What do we do here, then? This is a bit bizarre. We can go this way. Let's go get that save crystal first. No harm in doing that, is there? Oh, great, we've gone in the water. Yeah, it's freezing again as well, isn't it? Yep, we're probably going to die here. Can I get up here? No, of course not. Can I get up there? No, of course I can't. That would just be... Oh! Okay, I'm eating my words right now. Okay, uh, let's be more careful now. So everything seems okay here. That's a dead end, I think. Yeah. And... Uh, I need to go back up this way, don't we? It looks like we can probably jump across to there, though I'm not sure. Let's try going uh, down here and then we'll do a running jump across in this direction. If we fall in the water now, at least we know we can get out one side. Yep, we can get over here. Okay, so we can go this way. We can also go the other way that was near the minecart. Whoops. Okay, what's this here? There is something on the floor right there. Is it just a plate? Yeah. Okay, that's harmless. Uh, it does look like it leads down somewhere, though. Can we get up here? No. It looks like a ladder, but it isn't. And then we can also go down here, but... Um, is that a slope, or is that an edge? I think it's an edge. Yes, it is. Is it... Is it a ladder? It is, yes. Okay, that's good. So we can go down here, no problem. Right, this is the minecart track. Or an area of it, anyway. And I don't think there's any point in being here. Not at the moment. I'm sort of expecting, like, the London level for something to come speeding down here and hit me, but never mind. Don't look like that is the case. Okay, so... Maybe it just gives us a scope of what's ahead. I mean, we can come down here, and then after that, we, uh, we're going up. Okay, never mind. That's useless. Never mind. I uh, wonder how many secrets there are on this level. I haven't checked, have I? Three. Seems to be getting three secrets in every level now. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. So let's climb back up and go the other route. There is only one more, isn't there now? Up we go. Uh, yeah, we can't go that way. At least I don't think we can. Can we get up this side? Mm, no. Can we go up here? Maybe. 
I don't think so, but it's worth a go. No, never mind. Okay, forget that. We'll go the other way. So, which way are we jumping? We're jumping in this general direction, aren't we? So, yeah, let's go this way. Button, door, and... What's that? It's really badly designed wall. Okay, let's hit that. Let's open that. Anything in here? No. Oh, shit, that frightened me. Okay. I think we're alright. I hope we're alright. Uh, it's a bit dark in here, though, so pop flare out. The line there. Ah, right, it's just the outsiding. It's just tape. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing we're going down here. We don't really seem to have any other choice. And then down here, we don't seem to have any other choice again, so... Water! No, not water. What's that sound? That was really violent, whatever it is. Here's something. Is it just the light? I think it is. Oh shit! Right. No, that is definitely something that wants to murder me. It's another mutant. It's a different type of one this time though, by the looks of it. Bloody hell. Yeah, these I'm definitely using other guns on once uh, i finished dealing with this one. Because look at how, how many bullets this thing is taking. Shotgun, maybe? I mean, it seems to like getting bloody close to us, doesn't it? Right. Did it drop anything? I hope it did. No, I didn't. Wow. That's a bit mean. Oh, it's disappeared now. I gotta admit, I don't like... This is probably one of the only things I don't like about this game, but the fact that the enemies do actually disappear. In the other game, they kind of litter the floor, so... I could use them as a mild indicator of places I've been and stuff like that, but... It's just not possible in this, is it? Uh, right. Let's get another one out. Seems to be okay here, so far. Right, there's a gap there. Not sure where that's going to take us. And then there's also a route this way. Let's uh, check this first while we've still got a flare left. Where's that put us? Oh, it's put us on the other side of here. And there's a ladder up here. Let's uh, have a quick look up here then. It's very dark though, isn't it? Right, that's going... Um, I'm not sure where that's going actually, but... Let's have a quick look, and then, uh... If it's nowhere interesting, we can always go the other way, can't we? Is that... Am I hearing something else that's not me? I'm not sure if I am or not. Right, there's a lot of doors here. Yeah, let's, uh... <clears throat> let's go the other route. Do, 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 do... And then... Right, okay. Okay. Uh, it's kind of hard to see here, really, isn't it? I'm going to try and navigate this without using any more flares. Though... I think we should be okay. We're not doing too badly for flares. There it is. Okay. Um, might be a good idea to get one out here, though. Okay. Let's keep moving. So where's this put us? Hmm. Oh, it's below the floor, right. That's a bit odd. What's that sound? Oh, right, it's another one of those things. I'll pick up these shotgun shells here. The game almost wants us to use shotgun on this thing. And um, rockets here. Uh, is it possible to avoid this enemy? Do you reckon? I mean, it would be if I could move fast enough, I guess. I'll try to get a flare out there, but it didn't work at all. 
No, I don't think we can get her anywhere else anyway. Let's see how many flares we have left and how many shotgun shells we have. We have 22 and flares we have 14. Ooh, okay. It's not bad, but still, I hope this level isn't going to be too dark. Otherwise, we might be in a patch of trouble. Can't go that way. Okay, let's keep moving. Where's the enemy gone? Hmm. Do you reckon he's waiting outside for us? It's a possibility, isn't it? Should be really careful. Right, one more flare. Come on, Laura. Pop it out for us, thank you. Okay. And... Oh, she didn't want to go backwards. Okay, fine, we'll go forwards then. Right, we better start running here. Shit, he's right there. What a dick. Okay, keep moving. Ladders it this way. Oh, shit. Up, 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 up. Okay. Fantastic. Completely avoided him there. Ah, so we don't need to deal with him because he's stuck down there. Unless we have to go back down at some point, which I'm not sure we will have to. Or at least I hope we don't anyway. So up here we have a few doors. Let's see what they all do. We'll uh, shuffle over to the right first, as we were previously doing. The only thing that's going to irritate me about this is the fact that I can hear him. Button, button. And... Is there anything up? No. Okay, what's on the other side of this gap, then? If anything. Nothing. Uh, I think that's the other side of the wall that I saw. At least I believe it is, anyway. The one that I complained about earlier. Right, so let's hit this one first, since it's the furthest away. Seems relatively okay. Right, I should pop out the shotgun right now, because I keep forgetting to equip it. Shotgun, of course, is always my favourite weapon. I think I spoke more about that in Resident Evil than anything else. It's, uh, it's relatively good in this game. So I always hate it when there's games whereby the shotgun is underwhelming. Because it does happen quite a lot. It's like, um... It's a game I played recently that the shotgun was underwhelming. In. Oh yeah, it was when my brother had me playing Call of Duty, uh... Was it Black Ops? I think it was Black Ops or something, I don't know. I don't really know much about Call of Duty, if I'm being honest. It's not really my kind of game, I guess. I don't mind it, but... God, does it wear thin. Right. There may be one up here. No, I think he's just on the other side of the wall or something. Oh no, he's there. Yeah, you want to come round, dude. You gonna do that? Come on, I'm over here. Yeah, you figured it out. Well done. Right. No, he doesn't know how to get up here, does he? That's good. Come on. Whoops. There we go, that dealt with him nice and easily. Okay, what's this on the floor? Oh, it's the Magnum. Magnum ammo. Right, so that was five shots. That wasn't too bad. That means I've got enough to kill, uh... Four more of them, I guess. Maybe three. That's actually not too good, really, but... Uh, whatever. Okay, uh... So this is the first door. Oh, did he drop something? He did. Yeah, he dropped a small medikit. Great. And I think he dropped some ammo there, actually. I'm not too sure, though. I didn't really see it properly. So we have two buttons here. We have a drop down into water, so we don't want to go down there. Uh, we have a very suspicious wall over here. Careful not to fall down there. And what's over here? Not a lot. Not anything, actually. Can we do anything with this, perchance? No, I don't really like it, does it? 
Oh, there was a large medikit uh, that I suspected to be a large medikit in the previous level. It was around the engine area, but I thought it was, I ended up coming to the conclusion that it was part of the engine. Turns out it was a large medikit after all. Right, so all we can do here is actually get in there. Though I'm not confident that's a good idea. I mean, why on earth would I be confident that that's a good idea? Right, so I can hit that. Um, what's th there's this other one here as well. That shuts that, right. Not sure what the other one does, though. Huh. Yeah, icy water. It's never a good idea, but we've clearly got to go down there, but I don't fancy doing that just yet. Let's inspect the other area first. And then if worse comes to worse, we can go down there. Uh, oh yeah, there's this button as well. What's this all about then? It's like three total. Oh shit, great, another. Right, we can... Oh shit, if I can get up here. Oh, fucking hell. Come on, Laura. No, no, no. Come on, there we go. You managed it. Alright, he's off. Come here. Right, that dealt with him. That wasn't too bad. I'll admit, my Tomb Raiding skills went out the window there, though. Uh, Tomb Raiding skills. Yeah, murdering things. That's Tomb Raiding, isn't it? And then there's another button. Another enemy? No, okay. Oh, right. Oh, that's led round in a full circle. Okay, well, at least we don't have to uh, go all the way around this time. So it wasn't the other side of that door. Where's that, then? Oh, and that is a door. Yeah, it's not a wall, after all. Um, so what's down this one? We have 11 bullets left. I might see if another weapon's better against these. I imagine the Desert Eagle would be quite good, but... Ugh, I hate using it. Let's give the MP5 a go. It's a bit of a still weapon, though, is the problem. And I hear an enemy somewhere. Ah! Right, that's the other side of there. So it looks like we have got to go down into the icy water after all. Is that really a good idea though? I mean, I really think it's going to kill us. <sighs> Guess we've got no choice. Let's just do it. Here we go. Which side do I go down though? Fuck it. Let's do this shit. Okay, down, down, down. Right, there's something here. Can we get out of the water, though? Uh, we've got to go this way, apparently. No, we have not got to. Oh, shit. That's not going to save me. That is not going to save me, is it? We're going to die here. <sighs> this game's so brutal. Oh, right, yeah, I could get out there quite easily. Ah, never mind. Well... Yeah, I've got to actually finish up recording right now. I know I've barely done anything, but yeah, I'll continue this level tomorrow. I'll finish it off. He says. Completely unconfident to the fact that's even possible due to not knowing this level. But it's worth a go. I can try. Um, I think what I think I'm probably best doing is hitting a save point up here. Naturally, because I've got a dive in here. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place, but never mind.